luckily for us, it's one of those beautiful British early summer evenings when every row worth its salt lick is out and about, especially here in Wiltshire. This isn't Kai's normal stomping ground. He's catering for a wedding nearby, so it's a chance to kill two birds with one stone or two row with one Bagara rifle. I've been on this ground with you once before. We saw a couple of roebuck and I, 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 missed, I missed that roebuck last time, didn't I? Yeah. What? I missed the roebuck last time. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> on this valley here, exactly oh, Just right behind us. Do you want to talk us through that at all, Tom? <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> it happens. We started all the way up on that side. I stalked him all the way over, <laughs> got on it, and he shot between its legs and clean missed it. Yeah, I remember that. I remember driving home thinking, <laughs> yeah. Since I shot my first roebuck, I've just been addicted to. to yeah. There is the fever. There is a fever. A roebuck fever. Oh, for sure. I still yeah. get terrible roebuck fever if a big one walks out. I, <laughs> yeah. I remember about two years ago, I shot a real good one and I nearly passed out. I don't know what, it wasn't even the biggest one I ever shot, but it was such a good. It was a really hard stalk, and I crept up on it, and it. It sort of saw me, and I, I took the shot. And I remember taking the shot, and I, I went all light-headed, and I just fell over. <laughs> I was wobbling about. It's not coronavirus, is it? No, <laughs> it just the adrenaline hit me like a steam train. It was terrible. I don't know why, but isn't it yeah. amazing it's, it's, yeah, that it affects people like this? It's extraordinary, isn't it? But all over Europe, I mean, all over the world. My friend took something out a client the other day, and he shot uh, this German guy. I think he'd shot. 1500 robux in his lifetime yeah. you know he's in his 70s yeah yeah he's shot quite a few and my friend put him on a gold medal and he froze up and couldn't shoot it <laughs> with buck fever and that's a guy in his 70s who shot robux since yeah he was 15 you know 60 years of shooting robux every season and he still froze up on a gold medal and couldn't even pull the trigger and that's why he's still doing it though that's why he yeah. still shoots obviously because you know the passion's still there isn't it so yeah it's doubtful the Carl Bucks we're after tonight will get Kai fainting, but they'll definitely be part of one of his wedding menus this summer. As they assess where to go, Kai has a look through his Meopter Optica 6 scope to get it focused for the trigger cam. See where that patch of mud like dirt is. There are bucks on that like far bank there. too, there, so right? that's where we need to head. The long grass and small trees give us cover on the approach. Tom gives us the nod for a buck that's still in velvet. Kai has to manoeuvre to find a path to thread the norm around through the cover. With enough body on show, Kai takes the shot. I didn't realise you could see enough of it. Well, I kind of went a little bit higher than usual just because I knew the tall grass. So, it would, it, I mean, it, it's not that far away. It's probably, what, about even like 50, 60 yards, really. Um, so the 308 bullet would have just gone through and got that. It was quite close enough. So if it was a long range shot, I would probably want to risk something like that. But um, I went a little bit higher on it, just to kind of go on the top of the grass. But I think, thank you, mate. But yeah, we dropped on the spot. It was a good shot. The doe is staying in play. Knowing the buck dropped on the spot, we enjoy watching her. But he was still in velvet as well. He was in velvet, Which yeah. Is late. Yeah, I was going to say that is quite late, isn't it? Yeah, it's late. But that's what's crazy, they're still in winter coat and the fawns are already out. Yeah. And he's still in velvet and the fawns are out. Well, the weather's a bit weird at the moment because it's very hot today, but it was quite cold a couple of nights ago and it's just fluctuating and it was the rain as well. We had some heavy rain and some storms recently as well. But the we? heavy rain should knock the velvet off. Mm. Normally the velvet only hangs on if we've had no rain. Yeah. Then the velvet goes crispy and dry, but normally when we've had that good rain, it gets wet. It goes wet and it just slimes off. Mm -hmm. 
As Tom spends his days working and measuring heads, we ask him whether there is any potential with this youngster. Bucks that are going to make a really good buck already at two would be about that tall and then would already have four yeah. good points on them. He's missing one though where yeah, it's small. Yeah, he's missing that and he's uneven. I mean, he could throw a better head next year. He's got a nice like, whip coming on him, but it's not one that screams potential to me. If you see a nice one like that with a nice fork on him both sides, I wouldn't shoot him. But one like that's yeah. a better one to take. There's, there's plenty of row here, isn't there? And obviously we do the management here and already in this evening we've seen quite a few. And even on the drive in and your permission, which is born, well, it is this farm really. We saw two on the way up. Well, one was probably... He was a good buck. A good rep. He's a really good buck, yeah. Way, yeah. There's still plenty of daylight. Tom asks if we want to keep stalking. It's a real pleasure to be out in this rolling countryside and as the light fades, a spooked buck might stop for us before it's out of range. Yeah. Try to get in on them then and then they just kept moving around trying to get to safe shocks there's a road behind us like there's so many deer coming out now as well you know yeah, like literally all popping up mainly just does but he was like a nice cold buck yeah that's a better shaped buck but to be honest i reckon he's three not two and just poor I yeah. he's as young as the other one and just if you look behind me there to finish it off, that view is just absolutely incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of my favourite views on this farm from the top. We've, the we've, we've picked a good evening this evening. <laughs> yeah. It's been a great evening stalking with a perfect backdrop for watching and appreciating our native deer, whether in summer coat or molting or in hard antler or velvet. To find out more about Kai's kit, head to ruag.co.uk and for Kai's catering, go to gameandflames.com.